<laughs> Hi, I'm Brett Flugreth. I'm a researcher here at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, and I spend a lot of time working on these hyperbaric chambers. These are hyper-hypobaric, meaning they can go above and below atmospheric pressure, and they're also um, hydro chambers. They're full of water so that we can put fish in them. And uh, the reason we do this is we want to look at barotrauma, which is um, basically injuries that fish have when they uh, experience a really quick drop in pressure. And uh, the reason that's important is because when fish pass through hydro turbines, they can be exposed to those rapid decreases in pressure, and that can cause barotrauma. And uh, there's two main reasons this happens is, first is that uh, gas comes out of the blood and forms bubbles which can stop the flow of blood and be very detrimental to the fish. Uh, the second one is gas expansion. When the pressure decreases, uh, gas, uh, particularly inside the swim bladder, will expand and uh, cause internal injuries and it can even rupture. And uh, this will um, cause injuries and mortality to the fish. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load some largemouth bass. These fish will go into this chamber here. And what we do is we acclimate these fish overnight so that they can fill their swim bladder. And then tomorrow we'll perform a rapid decompression on these fish and expose them um, to that decompression and then uh, perform a necropsy on these fish to look at all the different injuries that they have. Um, and so what we do with this data once we're done with it, we develop a dose response relationship to decompression and we then can provide that to engineers and turbine operators so that they can uh, design and operate turbines so that they don't go to these low pressures that, these, that we know will hurt these fish and um, that can make these turbines more fish friendly and uh, we can save a lot of fish.